What's up, everybody? My name is Shannon, and I am still waiting for my Seder. And today, we are talking about A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. I, like many people, was very excited when I heard the premise for this book. So previously, Naomi Novik has written Spinning Silver and Uprooted, which are very fairy tale. This book, however, was going to be very Harry Potter. The story takes place within a school called the Scalamance, and it kind of exists outside of reality. Like, it has its own, like, place in space and time all its own. And this school is a character character like all by itself. There are no teachers. It kind of feels like there's this malevolence force that's kind of guiding everything, changing the hallways. All of the students know that by entering the school, like their life is at risk. There are monsters here. They could get eaten. They just have to do their work, graduate, and then become a wizard. And our main character, Elle, is definitely not like the popular girl. She has kept her head down. She, you know, kind of comes from a famous mom. She doesn't want anybody to know about it. And having her as a lens for the story, I think was a little bit interesting. She's kind of jaded when it comes to like enclaves and like joining alliances and like having friends, like all that kind of stuff. And she really does tell you a lot about what the school is and what it's doing. And I did like the world a lot. I did like learning about the school. I liked learning about like these types of wizards, but I will say like, I wasn't super impressed with Elle's character all that much. I think I was just hoping for it to go a little bit deeper. When it comes to the characters in general, I really do feel like they all kind of blend together other than Elle, just because she's our narrator. And then also Orion, who is like the school hero, but like also kind of like a love interest and kind of himbo. Like, I don't know, he was kind of on the fringes. It was hard to kind of get a reading for anybody who wasn't L. And when it came to literally everybody else, they all are just like completely homogenous. I couldn't tell any of the other characters apart. Like we even, you know, have some that are singled out that becomes friends with Elle by the end of the book. And I couldn't tell you who they are, what they look like, anything like that, which is kind of annoying because I feel like Naomi Novik was trying to inject a lot of inclusivity into this book. There are a lot of different languages. There's a lot of different cultures. Like there's a lot of different people from all different kinds of walks of life. And yet it's all so samey. Like I can't tell the difference difference between anybody. Like part of that could just be like the narrator didn't change her voice or anything like that. But a bigger part of it was just that the characters were all the same. If you were in the background, you were basically just like any other background character. Part of this could be because like from Elle's point of view, like she is very self-centered and she is very selfish. So it is that she doesn't really think much of anybody else, but it was kind of disheartening to see that because I wanted to see these other cultures represented. Like it was really cool to have like like a more inclusive type of Harry Potter book, but it just fell really flat on that front. And prior to reading it, I had heard a little bit about like some microaggression racism in this book. So I was on the lookout for it. And when it comes to the languages and when it comes to like the specific passage about like hairstyles, you could definitely feel it. It, it was a little like not malicious, but just that she didn't do her research. Like it, it was almost like she just wasn't trying quite hard enough to make this book fully inclusive other than just adding those characters in. With that being said, I did enjoy this book. I think I enjoyed enjoyed it more than Spinning Silver and Uprooted. I just liked the voice a little bit better. It was, you know, very modern. It had a modern twist to it. And I do like the world a lot. I was really interested in this school. I am kind of interested to see like what's gonna happen next. But when it comes to the characters, I just don't care about any of them. Like I, I kind of wish that we could have this world, but then just focus it on somebody else because I don't feel any investment in the story. Going into the next book in the series, like I'm not really expecting anything because I'm not really in invested in any of it. Like, I'd like to learn more about the school, which I definitely think we're going to learn, but I just wish there was something that could make me connect with these characters a little bit more. So because of that, I'm giving it a B plus. I don't necessarily know if I would recommend it. I think it was a good read. And if you're a fan of Naomi Novik, you'll probably like it. I would just say, keep some of these concerns in mind as you're reading it. So B plus, we're just gonna have to see what happens next. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.